previous video we have already designed our register form so let's add new field file upload so let's go to register component html after password let's add new field input of type file and add placeholder for file image and self close this tag and let's declare here template variable pic and let's make it hidden here let's add button for upload image let's say mat raised button and let's say type button and let's give class w full full width flex and item center gap to device center mv5 basic green 900 and text white rounded md and p2 and here let's add mat icon and add add a photo let's go to raster component ts let's import mat icon module let's duplicate this one and add add here mat icon module from angular slash material slash icon save it go to component html and let's make a span tag and a text for upload image let's save it and go to browser we can see our here upload image button and here we have text type password let's make it type password look now we have password field and let's add here google password icon let's go to component html and after this input field let's add mat icon and let's add mat suffix mat suffix and close mat icon let's add a visibility of we can see now we have button so let's toggle this one here let's add click event click let's say toggle password and let's pass event from here and go to register component ts declare this function let's say event of type mouse event here let's declare signal height signal let's say initial value true and inside toggle password let's say this dot height dot set i negate this dot height let's go to html and here let's cut it and here let's say height if height is true then visibility of otherwise visibility for type let's say let's bind type uh, if height is true then let's make it text otherwise let's make it password let's remove this toggle password from input and add inside mat icon save it and go to browser now we can type text and we can hide text and show text as well now let's work on upload file inside this input let's say click and on file selected and let's pass event and let's declare this function into component ts here let's declare on file selected function and add here event of type event of type let's say any for now let's get file from event constant file of type file and let's say event dot target dot file let's get first file from event and let's say this dot profile image and let's create object of file reader mm, file reader reader dot on low e goes to let's in slice profile picture this dot profile picture and e dot target dot result is a string add reader dot read is data url and let's pass a file let's console dot log this dot profile picture and here let's log for testing purpose e dot target dot result in raster dot raster component html inside button let's add click event and let's trigger pick dot click when we type in this button 
this input field will be trigger so let's save it and go to browser and let's press ctrl shift i for open console let's click upload image we can see we can see here error failed to execute read as data url so let's go to base code if we have file then only execute this code save it go to browser and let's test again let's click this one and select image we don't see anything here because we have used click event instead of click instead of click event let's use change event save it and go to browser let's test again upload image and select this one we can see now we have image we can see our image is stressed let's go to html and let's fix this let's make it object cover and save it go to browser and test again let's click upload and select image we can see now we have let's remove this that raised from button let's remove this first save it and go to browser now we have here beautiful upload image button now let's add some validation so for that let's go to form and here let's declare template form user form let's say ng form and here for email let's add required attribute and add here email model and add here template email model add here ng model and let's check for if email model dot errors dot required display mat error email is required let's save it and go to browser now we can see email is required let's make full name required let's say required and full name model ng model let's say for if full name dot errors errors dot check for required error and let's go to here and copy this error paste here and let's change for full name is required okay let's copy this one once again and let's paste here let's add here required attribute add here model and add here password and ng model let's check for error dot instead of full name let's say password and password here sends instead of full name let's make it full name model and let's copy this one paste here and change here also change the password model and paste here save it go to browser we can see here is three so this means this field are required let's press register we can see email is required full name is required so let's go to component html and let's add here ng submit ng submit register and let's disable submit button if form is not valid let's go to here and let's say disabled if not user form dot is valid let's save it go to browser now this is not clickable we can see here we can see this register button is disabled so let's give style for disable button 
so here let's add class disable let's say opacity of 30 save it now we can see register button is disabled let's enter valid data email at gmail.com and test eight one two three four now button is enable after home is valid we can see password field is displaying text by default so let's go to component ts and let's make false by default go to browser now we can see our password field is not displaying text now let's implement register method and call our backend api so let's go to auth service we have already added here register method so let's call this method in register component ts so here let's say this dot auth service so let's go to auth service and let's make http client private we don't need to access this from our side so we don't see here http now so let's access register and pass here data so let's declare here let form data is called to new form data and let's append some data into form data dot append let's say email this dot email and let's append form data dot append password field and this dot password and the one is form data dot append full name this dot full name and finally let's add form data dot append profile image this dot profile image okay now let's pass here here let's pass form data let's subscribe it and next let's inject for displaying toast let's declare here mat snack bar so import mat snack bar from at angular material slash snack bar let's inject snack bar here snack bar inject mat snack bar let's display toast here this dot snack bar dot open user register successfully and let's say close and let's handle error error goes to let's say error of type http error response which comes from common slash http so let's display snack bar there is an error so let's delete error error dot error as api response of type string and let's display this dot snack bar dot open error dot error and let's it close here and let's end it complete complete goes to after registration complete let's navigate to home page for this let's inject router so router inject router and go bottom and here just dot router navigate to let's say home page slash means our home page let's save it start our backend by let's press ctrl j and open terminal let's click this plus icon currently we are in root directory so navigate to api and let's start application dot net was run okay our application is started so let's reload our application and let's open console by pressing ctrl shift i and let's add some data and let's click register so we can see here 400 byte request let's go to network tab and click here and click response so we can see here require parameter string username was not provided from form here we have forget to send username so let's add another field let's say username mm, let's
this event username this dot username and go to register component html and let's add one another field let's duplicate this one and make it username let's make it username and username model let's rename this user model username and username is required username model dot required username let's change this username save it go to browser okay we have some error here so let's copy this one and paste here save it go to browser now let's open console let's fill form test at gmail.com let's let's register okay we can see here our api is called two times so let's go to register component html let's remove this register here our user is successfully created let's go to ps code and let's open database open database and let's say chat db let's open solution explorer and inside chat db spinet users let's click this icon let's close this one and we can see test user test user which is created recently so let's close it we can now successfully register new user 